Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate the opportunity to attend the Inform Study 20 annual meeting. I'm so sorry that I can't record with Zoom for some special reasons. So the presentation can only be made through audio. The research I would like to present is the integration of the train and rolling stock rescheduling for Metro system. The presenters are Shui Su and Bo Yi Su from Beijing Jiao Tong University. The presentation will be divided into four parts. In the first part, an introduction will be given. The problem statement and solution methodology will be applied in the second and third part respectively. Case study will be provided to prove the effectiveness of the algorithm next. And the last part is the conclusion. The first part is the introduction. Open Metro is growing rapidly and has become one of the important means of transportation in China. By the end of 2019, Metro has been established in 40 cities, as the total operating mileage reached 6,730 kilometers. The passengers benefit a lot from the fast and convenient service of Metro systems. However, the large passenger demand also brings a great pressure to operation management, especially in some inevitable disturbing scenarios, like infrastructure failures, equipment faults, staff miss operation, and so on. Unpredictable disturbances influence the ride quality and passenger satisfaction. Taking Beijing Metro Line as an example, as shown in the right picture, the disturbances occur frequently particularly in pink hours. This means the impact will be greater. When disturbance occurs, the primary delay will easily knock down from one train to others, causing the planned timetable to be invalid. The current way to that metro system handles disturbance mainly divided into three steps. At first, the dispatchers reschedule timetable manually. Then they call the drivers and notify the staff in the station to give the order. The operation process needs to be recorded at last. It can be seen that the processing steps are cumbersome, which may lower the efficiency of the rescheduling strategy. Therefore, it is necessary to design algorithm to assist the dispatcher to deal with the train delays. In recent years, Open Metro train timetable rescheduling have attracted extensive attention owing to the short highway time, uncertain passenger flow, and vulnerability to disturbances. In this research, some practical rescheduling means like train operation strategy during the troubleshooting phase and operation level are taken into account. In addition, an integrated train and rolling stock rescheduling model is introduced. The second part is the problem statement. The considered structure of metro line con contains two running directions, one depot, two eye stations, and some storage lines for trains to turn around. A train operation strategy in the troubleshooting period is introduced by using the experience of dispatchers for reference. In practical metro lines, the train running time between stations corresponds to the pre-programmed speed profile in automatic train operation system. This means that the train cannot modulate speed itself in real time. Therefore, the dispatcher prefers to arrange trains to stop at stations during disturbances, which is defined as train datation. For example, non consider a situation that train service U1 cannot de depart from station 5 as the signal error. Within the troubleshooting phase, the train service U2, U3, U4 need to be detained as station 4, 3, 2 correspondingly. When the disturbance is solved, an optimization model for rescheduling is developed. The optimization objectives are defined from three aspects. That is, the direction between the planned timetable and the rescheduled timetable, the total delay time of passengers, 
and the energy consumption, which are calculated by the following equations. It should be noted that T and T with wave represent the planned and rescheduled time respectively. NKI allied represent the number of passengers on train service K that get off at station I. EKI is the energy consumption of train service K in section I. The objective function was formulated to minimize the weighted sum of these indicators so as to reach a trend-off between operational cost and service quality. The next are the constraints of the model, which are reflected from five aspects. A. Running time constraints. As stated above and shown in the red picture, the metro trains operate automatically. The running time between two consecutive stations is determined by pre-programmed speed profiles uniquely. Instead of using lower and upper bounds to restrict, we assume that the running time is selected by operation levels, which are correspond to speed profiles. The pre-programmed speed profile with different operation levels in the ATU system are considered here, which is denoted by L. RKL denotes the running time for the operation level L. Let delta KL be the binary variables that represent whether the operation level L is chosen. The constraints for the running time are formulated as the first equation. The second equation indicates only one operation level can be chosen for train service K in section I. B. Dwelling time constraints. In order to relieve the management pressure of the station when many passengers are standard, the dwelling time of train services should be adjusted according to the number of passengers boarding and alighting. Lambda is the boarding alighting speed of passengers. C. Headway constraints. Certain headway time of trains must be met in order to ensure safety, which are granted by the lower limits. These constraints will be satisfied as long as the arrival and departure time of adjacent trains at the same station are restricted. In this research, YKL is used to denote the train sequence. If the train service L follows K, YKL is equals to 1. D. Train capacity constraints. We establish a passenger demand origin destination matrix to predict the dynamic passenger flow and calculate the negative impact of train delays. The train capacity constraints ensure that the number of people on board can always be less than C. To obtain the number of passengers on board and simulate the passenger boarding and alighting process, a notation TKIW represents the arrival time at station I of the last passenger who takes on the train service K is derived. When the maximum capacity is not reached, it is equal to the train departure time. Otherwise, it depends on the number of passengers not arriving at the terminal. E. Rolling stock calculation constraints. In metro system, the train services can be undertaken by two methods. The first is turning around of online rolling stock. UKLI is a rolling stock succession indicator. If train service K is undertaken after L by the same rolling stock, it is equal to 1. In this situation, the interval between the end time of train service L and start the start time of train service K must be bigger than the minimum turnaround time, T turn. The other method is coming out from the depot by backup rolling stock. ZKMI is the rolling stock usage indicator. If train service K is undertaken by backup rolling stock I, it is equal to 1. In this situation, the interval between the departure time of backup rolling stock I and the start time of train service K must be bigger than the minimum running time T online. F. Kinetic constraints. 
for the purpose of facilitating calculation of energy, it is necessary to establish some kinetic constraints. The train operations in the section are generally divided into four phases, that is, accelerating, cruising, coasting, and braking. It is generally believed that only the first two phases have energy consumption. There are two kinds of resistance according to the generation method, basic resistance and additional resistance. In practical application, the basic resistance basically follows Davis formula. Regarding additional resistance, the gradient factor is considered. Then, the traction force and energy consumption can be calculated by the following equations. The third part is solution methodology. Markov decision process is a framework that describes the problem of learning from interactions. Decisions will be changed through trial and error under the interaction of the agent and the environment. To be specific, after the agent selects the action, the environment updates and returns the reward. The task of agent in this research is to maximize these rewards. Then the model is transformed into a Markov decision process in this part. The definitions of each element in MDP are introduced in detail. The state variables for train and stations include the time of arriving and the number of passengers on the train. The actions correspond to decision variables of optimization model. That is the rolling stock for train service and the dwelling running time at station. Then, the reward of each stage is determined according to the objective function. The state transition function is about the change of state variables. The algorithm in this research mainly includes two parts. One is action selection method. We use epsilon grading policy with the probability epsilon choose the action from the set of feasible action randomly. With the probability 1 minus epsilon, choose the current optimal action. The other is value function update. We use Q-learning approach. As shown in the following, learning rate alpha and discount factor gamma is introduced. The next part is case study. The data of function and metro line are used to conduct the case and verify the effectiveness and efficiency of the algorithm. Due to the large traffic of passengers in early peak hour, the impact of train rescheduling is significant during that, that time. The horizon of timetable that we consider is from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. The picture is planned timetable. Now, we consider that there is a 300 seconds delay of train service Two of two of between station Changyang and Daotian. The rescheduled timetable is shown on the screen. It is to be observed that the normal operation order and planned timetable can be resumed. Through the convergency process, the objective value can convert to a relative stable value after about 3000 interventions. Then is the conclusion. First, by taking speed profiles in ATO system and wiring passenger flow into consideration, an integrated train and rolling stock rescheduling model is developed. Second, an efficient algorithm based on Q-learning approach is designed. Moreover, a trend-off solution between operational cost and service quality can be generated within a short time. That's all for my presentation. And thank you for your attention.